By some estimates, there could be as few as 4,000 snow leopards left in the wild. They live only in cold, high-altitude regions. But as climate changes, their mountain homes are changing faster than most places on Earth. With warmer summers and less snowfall, I want to find out exactly how these high-altitude felines are coping. But his friends at the Forest Department have got urgent news. The wildlife warden has just reported a critically injured snow leopard. These cats hunt in one of the toughest environments on Earth, testing their skills every day. They'll go after smaller prey such as marmots, but they favor bigger meals like ibex, uriel, and blue sheep. One of these mountain goats will feed a snow leopard for over a week. But they are agile, alert, and very hard to catch. One slip in this unforgiving terrain can mean death. But this cat is lucky. Villagers found it at the base of a cliff, alive, but barely. The Forest Department is racing to provide it the urgent veterinary attention it desperately needs. We have a young male snow leopard that was found near the village of Lixay. He may have gotten into a territorial fight. He's got an injury on his face. We've just done an x-ray and there doesn't seem to be any sign of breakage. But obviously the snow leopard is very weak. The vets give the leopard fluids and try to keep it comfortable. With a little bit of care, hopefully the snow leopard will come out of uh, its shock and we'll be able to release him back into the wild. Sandesh didn't expect his first encounter with a snow leopard to be so intimate. 